Hello Sagittarius, thank you so much for coming to my channel. If you're new to my channel, the oracle cards go here, which are all for you. The tarot cards, which are the people around you over here, which you could show up over here as well. So I read the cards, you decide how they apply to you and your situation. So thank you for all the likes, subscribes, comments, views, support on the channel. I appreciate it. So I'm going to start with pulling a fortune out of the fortune cookie for you. So Sagittarius, your fortune says, love is not what you say, love is what you do. That's your fortune. Love is not what you say, love is what you do. Alright, so let's go with the whispers of the ocean. The first one for you is 47, connect to source. So this is the feather starfish. It floats upside down. It's very unique. So I feel like go within, it says, to discover what needs to be done. Create the shift required to attract what you want. So I do feel like you're feeling like you're different than other people. That you can't get what you want the same way as other people. Something like that where you feel like you have to work harder or you have to go about it a different way. Or something of that sort. Where you feel like it's not as easy for you to get things, it's easy for other people. So the next one for you is change direction with ease. This is not this is time for change, shape shifting or your soul's evolution. It is time to reconsider what you are wanting. You may be in for a surprise. So this is five which is change and yellow is abundance. So the number one thing I noticed in here it says create the shift required to attract what you want. It is time to reconsider what you are wanting. So both these cards talk about what you are wanting. So Sagittarius, there's something going on where the universe is wanting you to break down what you really want in life and how to go after what you want. Because I feel like there's some sort of discrepancy here to where both cards said for you to go for what you want. So Knight of Swords is somebody coming in to communicate with you. I feel like this person probably spies on you. This person is younger than you. And then Five of Swords. Five of Swords could be a third party conflict. This is somebody who is very, um, gosh, hurtful is the only way to describe it. So look at all the swords going. He's got two going up, one here, and then Eight of Cups. Ouch. So this is karma. So if somebody has karma coming to them. Somebody put... Um, bad energy out to the universe and it's going to come back around to get them. And I know people freak out and think, oh, karma, something bad's going to happen. Karma is not to hurt you or make you punish you. Karma is to make you aware of how you're making somebody else feel. You've done it too many times where the universe is going to step in if you don't learn. So Princess of Cups is somebody um, offering love or an apology, I feel. So we have the Knight of Swords, we have the Princess of Cups. So we have two younger people in this reading, and we have third party situation right here. So then you have Seven of Swords. So Seven of Swords is somebody being sneaky, vindictive, somebody who lies, somebody who's jealous, and then we have the King of Coins. So King of Coins is somebody older, somebody who's stable, somebody who, um, so I do feel like I'm getting two younger and one older in this third party situation. So there was an older person I feel like who manipulated two younger people. The older person had money and stability in some way and I feel like they, you were scandalous, ruthless somehow. So let's keep going, Queen of Cups. So Queen of Cups is somebody who is very loving and nurturing. So somebody who is very loving, nurturing, offering kindness in this situation. And somebody didn't, didn't respect the kindness and the love and the nurture is what I'm feeling. So the Chariot. So the Chariot talks about communication, going in a new direction, possibly moving. Could be victory and success over the negativity. The devil. So this is Capricorn energy. I am getting a lot of toxic energy around you, Sagittarius. Um, somebody pretends they, they care about you and they're in a relationship, but it, you're giving 100% and they're giving nothing. Feel free to vice versa where that would apply to you. 
So moon, so ouch. The moon is Pisces placement. The moon is a secret coming to be known. So whatever wasn't known before is getting ready to come out and be known. There's a lot of stuff coming out, Sagittarius. I don't know if it's you or people around you. Temperance. Gosh, my goodness. So temperance is the universe getting involved. I feel like there's some past life connection. Could have been past life karma that is playing out in this life. So that means you could have a connection to somebody in this life where you two didn't get along and you didn't um, have a good relationship in a past life, but somehow you didn't end it out in your last life, so you're ending it out in this life possibly, which means you're going to have um, somebody, whoever this is, really hostile, just you don't get along with this person. This person just makes you feel like you can't even stand to be around their energy. And then Eight of Wands. So Eight of Wands is somebody wanting to communicate, somebody wanting to reach out to you. So I do feel like Temperance is the second time around. So I, I'm getting second time around in some way of a lie, deceit. So let's switch to the Mystical Cat's Tarot deck for you. So the first one is lovers, could be a Gemini placement right here. So definitely toxic energy around a lover situation. Somebody was lying. Ten of C. Ten of C is an ending to a place where people could go hang out, feel comfortable, an ending to travel, a vacation home. C Tom. C Tom is player energy. So I do feel like there's some sort of player energy that just keeps coming around and playing. And then Cat Magic. So Cat Magic talks about somebody who's grounded, somebody who believes in their faith, their spirituality, and they're not going to let something like a player kind of throw them off their course, so to speak. So then you have the floating cat. So the floating cat is a delay where something isn't going to move forward because the timing isn't right for your highest good. Eight of fire. Eight of fire is blame. So we have a lot of people hanging out together, people who vacation together, people who are friends who feel comfortable together, it could be family. But there's some sort of blame where some family members I feel like are blaming somebody else. Just a lot of blame where people don't want to take responsibility, a lot of aggression vindictiveness and then four of fire so four of fire is clarifying marriage and a player energy so I do feel like there's some sort of long-term commitment um, marriage with a player and then the tower so the tower talks about something that wasn't for your highest good that fell apart Sagittarius um, yeah and then you have Sky Kitten. So Sky Kitten is somebody who's immature, somebody who's almost annoying, I feel. And then it's Fire Tom. So Fire Tom is somebody who takes chances. I feel like this person who just, um, they lie, they sugarcoat things, they cover things for their own good. Somebody very... Gosh, I just feel like this person is very, what's the word I'm looking for? Somebody who takes chances, who will get burned over and over and over. They just don't seem to learn. So the next one is Six of C. So Six of C is a lot of crying concerning a marriage situation, long-term commitment, a lot of tears. And then you have Seven of Fire. So Seven of Fire is somebody can defending themselves. Again, concerning a tower moment, something's falling apart. And people are coming at other people. There's a lot of blame, a lot of toxic energy, a lot of lies in this. Wow, what a mess. So I see somebody waiting. I see somebody in heaven. I see somebody angry. Somebody who got uh, ghosted. I see somebody depressed. I see a lot of people who have an addiction together and they cause a lot of conflict with their addiction. They kind of get together and go... I don't know if they bully other people or what they do, but that's kind of what I'm picking up here. All right, so Oracle of E is GPS 15. It talks about you're where you're supposed to be. You're healing from something. 
and then open your presents 33. So something is coming full circle for you and you're going to realize why that came full circle for you later on. So the next one is Grace 14. So 14 would talk about talking kind to yourself. Being, um, don't berate yourself, don't belittle yourself, keep talking kind to yourself, have faith, build yourself up, be positive to yourself. And then Divine Light 27. So this talks about your heart healing, your soul healing, you're going to step into your light, you're going the way you're supposed to go. Good things are coming to you, Sagittarius. I know this seems like a harsh reading, like it might not be that way, but good things are coming. You just have a lot of, I feel like you're just getting rid of a lot of negative energy. So the next one is Night, Be Brave and Honest. So this talks about your religion. He has his sword. It says in the book he has a tear on his eye for mankind and the lesser dog, who, the underdog who can't stick up for themselves. I see the chalice. I see the rose. So there's some sort of change in a love situation to where somebody feels hopeless. They can't, helpless. They can't do anything. Not hopeless, helpless. Don't ever be helpless. So great teacher, learn from spiritual experience. So I do feel like this is the piece of dove. I feel like that is obviously portraying God or Jesus, uh, higher power. We all have different ones we believe in. That's why I don't like to um, segregate any one over the other because I'm open to whatever everyone is open to. Um, but very obvious to me you're having some sort of spiritual shift or change in your life that is going to it's probably because that lunar eclipse but we're all I suppose I feel supposed to be ascending raising our vibration so it does look like some situation in your life Sagittarius has helped you ascend but it was very painful but it also got rid of somebody who was negative out of your life so bless you Sagittarius